years old, 24 years old, to remind our viewers he was found dead at the scene in a classroom and additionally he was found with at least two weapons. Uh, I am hearing that there may be even more weapons that were, were found. And also as we have previously, previously reported, another person is being questioned by police uh, in connection with this shooting, but we have no additional information on that at this time to report. Well, do we is, is the working assumption, and I know this information is preliminary, is subject to change, uh, is, is the working assumption there among law enforcement, Susan, uh, that Ryan Lanza, after opening fire and killing all these people, took his own life? Uh, that is the working assumption here, but we don't have that confirmed information that he took his own life. But that certainly is the working theory here. And so they have a lot of pieces to put together. We also know, for example, that authorities have been uh, executing a search warrant at Ryan Lanza's home, and they've been doing that for quite some time now. We have no information yet about what kind of information they have found. For example, have they found any additional weapons at the house? Uh, it's very likely that he, if he had a computer there, they certainly would have seized that in the hard drive and would be hard at work examining that so common that so many of us have computers these days and so we're waiting for another update we hope to get more information of course uh in the coming minutes hours we'll have to see as well but susan quickly i just want to be precise on this uh, is is it your information that the shooter ryan lanza went to the school and among others actually shot his own mother there that she is she's a teacher at this school and and, and you're now reporting that she was shot and killed. I assume he must have shot her, but correct me if I'm wrong. You know, the only information we have now is that his mother is a teacher at the school and she was she has been found dead. Interestingly, we don't have our law enforcement sources telling us that she is among the dead at the school. Only that she is dead. Um, the president found out about this at 10.30 this morning from his director of Homeland Security. He has received updates throughout the day. Uh, he spoke to the FBI director, to the Connecticut governor, uh, and has been briefed consistently. Uh, right now, a gunman identified as 20-year-old Adam Lanza walked into an elementary school on Friday morning, and he opened fire before killing himself. In addition to the shooter, 20 small children are also dead, so too six adults. And a source has told us the gunman's mother was found dead in a home near the school. It's thought Adam Lanza killed his mother at their home before heading to Sandy Hook Elementary School where she worked, then opening fire on two classrooms of pupils aged between 5 and 10. After the shootings, Mr Lanza turned the gun on himself. It's still not clear exactly what happened here. American news organizations are reporting that 20-year-old Adam Lanza killed his mother and then opened fire inside the school before killing himself. Some more details are emerging. The government reportedly 20-year-old Adam Lanza is thought to have killed his mother, a teacher at the school, at their home before carrying out this massacre. His brother is being questioned by police as they try and understand what led him to do this. Now we know that uh, there were at least three guns used in the shooting yesterday and the three that we know of were all legally registered to the gunman's mother who did become his first victim. We know that the gunman's father and brother were questioned yesterday but they were released. They are not being accused or charged uh, with any wrongdoing uh, but still a motive is not clear at this hour and it's really difficult for the folks in this area to kind of comprehend what was going on and aren't they uh, by the motive you talk about the motive there i'm just reading some stuff from the uh, associated press from the ap uh, talking about lanza's mother uh, nancy uh, they say she's called found dead in her home as you say describe her as well liked who was called a nurturing parent who enjoyed hosting dice games and preparing for holidays she uh, divorced peter lanza a tax director who lives in stanford connecticut uh, four years ago, it's thought, um, but, you know, a pretty regular family. Well, this is what we know so far about yesterday's events. Newtown in Connecticut is a quiet commuter city of around 27,000 people. It's 80 miles northeast of New York. The suspected gunman, Adam Lanza, lived with his mother, Nancy, who was a teacher at the school.
He's thought to have killed her before travelling four and a half miles to Sandy Hook, where lessons were just beginning. He arrived at the school at around half past nine and entered through the front of the building. It seems he began shooting almost straight away. Well, Lieutenant Paul Vance from the Connecticut State Police has said ahead of this press conference uh, that uh, he will be giving as full a picture as possible. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of a bit more about this, this man, this shooter, Adam Lanza, 20 years old. We know, according to our sources, that when he came to that school, he was armed with three guns. He was wearing what is described to me as black battle fatigues and a military vest. Now, where did he get these three guns and what kind were they? The three guns were two handguns, a Glock and a Sig Sauer, as well as a 223, what's called a Bush Master. Now, this is a semi-automatic gun. We've got photographs of the type of weapon it is. We understand from our sources that these guns were all registered, belonged to his mother, his mother who was also killed. Now, the mother's body was found in the house where a family home here in this area. We don't know much more about, about Adam Lanza. We do know that his brother Ryan, who's a bit older, 24 years old, he was taken in uh, to custody for questioning. He is not being called a suspect, but he was in Hoboken, New Jersey when they brought him in for questioning. That's where he lives, to try to find out what, if anything, he knew about this, what he could tell them about his brother, what information they, he can give about his background. And police also invest, it also questioned their father. He still lives in this area. He is divorced from his wife, who was one of the victims here, and he has remarried. So he too is being questioned by police to try to shed some light on Adam Lanza and why, why this tragedy happened. What happened, Josh? Yeah, I'm going to take you through some, uh, especially some new information, Wolf, that we've got this morning. What you're seeing next to me, folks, right here is a 3D image of this school in Connecticut. And there's two major things I want to tell you at the top that we've learned this morning. One is that police are saying that the entire thing is and remains a crime scene. They say they are searching each and every room and, in the words of the police, each and every vehicle in the parking lot. We do not know if there are specific things they're looking for, but we do know that they're searching absolutely everything, scouring the area. Another important thing that really strikes me, police put out a statement this morning saying that the first 911 call about this came in at about 9.30 a.m. Now, I want our viewers in this country and around the world to understand that every minute in a case like this counts as police try to reconstruct even fractions of a minute what happened? If that first 911 call came in around 9.30 a.m., that moves the time frame back about 10 minutes from what we believed last night, and that can introduce new questions. During this time frame, when school was beginning, was the gunman already there? Was he hiding in certain places? Were there certain things that someone might have noticed? Was there something that someone could have seen? might have ultimately made a difference. Now let me also talk you through a little bit of what we've been hearing this morning about this actual attack. We do know now that this gunman forced his way into the building. There's a security system at this building. We don't know exactly how he did, but one of the chief questions that schools around the country, people around the world will be asking, how does someone force his way into the school with a weapon. That's something we've heard this morning. And one more thing uh, that we've heard this morning that, that can also turn out to be very significant. Um, we do know that this, it's believed that this area right here is where the uh, shootings took place and that the weapons were found right near him. But we have to find out exactly what happened step by step inside the school and what potential evidence they might otherwise uh, or ultimately end up finding at any part inside that school wolf. We do uh, also want to mention there were windows that were broken around the school and that led some people to believe that maybe this gunman uh, had broken one of the windows in order to get in. Police said this morning don't jump to that conclusion. They're cautioning against it. They say when these police arrived, when authorities arrived to respond, they had to force their way in. That involved breaking windows. So again, new questions about all that and she wasn't in her office she was in a meeting so he went in the front door if you go in the front door of the building the office is right in front of you and then if you take a left the two class he went by the first classroom and the two next two classrooms were where the shooting took place and she I, I heard was in a meeting across the hallway and she must have come out and confronted him on his way down the hallway she went to school school psychologist. Were killed. the school psychologist Mary Sherlock was killed and the two teachers and, and I think two aides in the classroom were killed. There was three other adults with me. We told, they were asking what's going on. We said, we don't know. Our job is to stay quiet. It may be a drill, it may not, but we're just gonna stay here. And you didn't know at that point? 
We, we, we knew because I called the office.